and switching gears now the duck season has come to a close and this week hunters are reflecting on the season the highs and lows of the past two months and Caroline Derby joins us live in studio after spending the day in Humphreys just outside of Stuttgart Caroline it's the last weekend for the season I know you spoke with the God service how have they taken in this season well, Gary, every year comes with its challenges, and this year they face some. According to the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission, the total duck population estimated reaching an all-time low. But as the owner of a local duck lodge in Humphrey, Arkansas says, every season is different, but they always hope to provide the best experience possible. <laughs> It's the sound heard throughout the duck capital of the world. A lot of people, this is their livelihood for them. You know, duck season brings a a large amount of revenue into just this town right here. In Arkansas County, waterfowl hunting is a way of life. Haley Houghton and her family welcome hunters from across the nation to the Dry Bayou Lodge in Humphrey every season. This is vacation for a lot of people. But the 2023-2024 season brought with it highs and lows. It was kind of very dry there at the beginning of the season. We normally always rely on what we call the Thanksgiving rain and we didn't really get a whole lot of that. Off to a slow start, but toward the new year, cold weather came in and so did the rain. A lot of the time weather has a lot to do with the amount of birds that we see. Normally we rely on storms up north to get a push of migratory birds down here. And with the rain, it turned things around in the nick of time. But what the rain does for us, it allows us to stop up fields and pipes and use that free rainwater rather than use it in groundwater. Uh, we like to use as much surface water as we can to conserve all that groundwater. Wetlands are very attractive for, for ducks. And up north, a lot of people kill them on dry ground, but the reason they come here is for those wetlands and for those habitats. The lodge took guests around Arkansas County all season, and as Houghton reflects on the past few months, she hopes conservation becomes a priority for everyone. I think people need to really realize the importance of conservation here and what kind of impact that can have on the amount of migratory birds we see here. Houghton says every season is different, and while you can hope for certain things, it's never promised saying you have to make the most out of every situation. I don't think there is an ideal duck season. I just kind of think it's, it is what, you know, what you take it is. This Wednesday, January 31st is the last day of the season. This coming Saturday is a youth hunt day. The conservation period for geese starts on February 1st. And for more information about this, you can visit our website at krk.com. Live in studio, I'm Caroline Derby, KRK4 News.